wanted to give a late afternoon tour of my solar powered woodshed. I've got a pretty good load of red oak inside here. Started uh, stacking around the outside, but I'm going to save the rest of the stacking for a rainy day. The roof is made from a couple of sheets of plexiglass. That turned out to be a pretty pricey item. Um, overall, I'm not sure whether the cost has really been worth it or not. I've uh, had this for 20 years and I think it's done okay. Uh, the temperature inside will typically get up to be about 30 to 40 degrees warmer than the temperature outside on a sunny day. But the mass, the thermal mass of the wood doesn't react that well to that heat input. The air does, and that's one positive. The hot air, uh, being a lot less dense, tends to find ways to force itself out of the uh, cracks and the, the few small openings that uh, are in the shed. And so there's a constant circulation of air, so you get the drier outside air, and uh, that uh, air that's going out has been heated up and sucked some of the moisture out of the wood. So I think it's fairly effective, but not as effective as I was hoping, because I was really hoping it would get hot enough so that it could cook all of the wood, but uh, it doesn't seem to do that. So I don't know whether this would be an idea that uh, you would like. Uh, I'm satisfied with it, but I won't say that it's a, a wonderful idea. The outside of the shed is painted a dark gray to better absorb the heat of the sunlight. The outside dimensions are 8 foot by 12 foot and the storage capacity is around three and a half cords. You can see the overlapping sheets of plexiglass. The top edge extends up under the shingles and the bottom edge laps over the shingles. In effect, the two sheets of plexiglass are laid like two large special shingles. The floor consists of three sheets of three-quarter inch CDX plywood on a 2 by 8 pressure treated frame. That is held up by 6 to 10 inches off the ground on three poured concrete strip footings. Although I'm sure it's been different ones over time, each of the last 20 years a bunny has appreciated that space during the winters. The carrots I put there in January and February disappear quickly.